Hi everybody, we're, if you notice, it looks a little bit different in here. The reason is we are in Dayton, Tennessee right now. And we are at the uh, Abounding Grace Ministries Church. It is a hippie church in Dayton, Tennessee. And the pastors are Jared and Valerie Sinclair. Fantastic people. And I want to thank everybody for being here. And we thought, well, we just uh, do one of our sermons. And they were nice enough to accommodate us. So why don't you give them a great big hand? Okay. You heard it? Okay. Um, our Bible verse chapter is uh, actually James in the second chapter. And it's only... Uh, 12 verses long, so it's not too bad. So before we do anything, we've got to give God the glory. So if we could, let's all bow in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much for allowing us to be here, to be your servants, to, that you will guide us and direct us, and that we will follow with no question asked. And be with Jared and Valerie, as they lead their church and it grows and grows and overflows God us all direct us we're in your son's name amen okay in James very interesting this week we've been traveling and uh, most people know I'm 68 years old we this verse came up and smacked me upside the head because this is the world's people and how we've been treated this week. And I laugh about it, but very concerned. And James was concerned too. And so I, this is what you know, I want you to hear and to live by. It said, my brothers and sisters, believer, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ, must not show favoritism. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes and a poor man in filthy old clothes also comes in. If you show special attention to the man wearing the fine clothes and say, here, here's a good seat for you. But if you say to the poor man, you stand there or you sit at my feet Set on the floor. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges? What evil with thoughts? Listen, my dear brother and sisters. Has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised those who loved him? Amen. That, that was for me. That's not written down. It says, but you have dishonored the poor. It is not the rich who are exploiting you. Is it not the rich that are exploiting you? Are they not the ones who are dragging you into courts? Are they not the ones who are blaspheming the noble name of him to whom you belong? If you really keep the rule of law, you'll find in Scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you're doing right. But if you show favoritism, you sin or convicted by law as lawbreakers. For whoever keeps the whole law, yet stumbles at least one point, is guilty of breaking all of it. For he who said, you shall not commit adultery. Also said, you shall not murder. If you do not commit adultery, but you do commit murder, you have broken up and you've become a lawbreaker. So speak and act as those who are going to be judged by the law that gives freedom because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mm. That is a mouthful, and it's a lot of information. 
We should not treat one person different than we treat everybody else. I've seen so many people all dressed up to go to Walmart. I've seen people in their pajamas go to Walmart. They both got cash in their pockets. My Walmart doesn't discriminate them against them. So why are we? Think about it. Why are we? It says love your neighbor as you love yourself. How are you being cruel to yourself in any way? Yeah, you can look in the mirror and say, boy, I'm ugly today. You fix your face. Or in my face, my thing, I just take my beard and pull it over like that so nobody can see me. But the thing is, is we need to change our ways and not judge the way everybody is. Don't judge if they're rich. Don't judge if they're poor. Don't judge if they're different. And the thing is, is you think, okay, I'm in a hippie church right now. A lot of people say, really? Who would go to a hippie church? If you guys could turn around and see, there's a lot of chairs here, and most of the time they're full. But the thing is, is don't judge. I, I repeat that, and I repeat that, and I repeat it. But the thing is, is I went through discrimination this week, and it just floored me. We was at a place we'd been for five years, off and on, you know, just visiting. And their boys been there with open arms. Hey, we love you. You know, we can't wait for you to come back, all this stuff. I changed the signage on my truck to say more about evangelism. All of a sudden, boom, you got to leave. That's discrimination. We left. We was invited to stay at a, a, a church's parking lot. And they didn't have to do that. It wasn't because I'm an evangelist. It's because they love their neighbor as they love their self. I want you to remember that this week, as you go about and you look at somebody, and then you will try to form an opinion. Every one of them is God's creation. Don't let the rich put on airs to make the poor man suffer. They both put their breeches on one leg at a time. And we need to remember that. We are all equals in God's view. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you again for allowing us to be here. I want to thank you again for this church to open its doors to allow us to bring this message to you. It's such a wonderful feeling, the love that is shown. And I want you to bless them and bless everybody that is watching this that it will bring them closer to you. In your son's name, amen. Hey, not long before Ohio, and we've got nine more fall on that. No, we don't. We've got six more fall on that because we already did three. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there. If it's a one-day show, come on by the booth and say, hi, how you doing? And we will see you. The next time, be hippie. Peace.